On Monday, the U.S. Supreme Court will rule whether former President Donald Trump has absolute immunity from criminal prosecution with official acts while in office. Monday will also be the day of final opinions in the current term, and there are as many as four opinions outstanding including that Trump immunity case. Today, justices effectively made it more difficult to prosecute some January 6th rioters and calling into question the convictions of some of those already prosecuted. The high court also handed down a ruling siding with the town of Grants Pass, Oregon, and its anti-camping ordinances. And that last ruling, one that local leaders have been waiting to hear about as it could affect how cities across our state handle homelessness. Yeah, this comes months before a newly approved camping ban in Phoenix goes into effect. Ford Hatchet has been reporting on this topic for more than a year now, and he's taken a closer look at what this could mean locally. This area west of downtown Phoenix, known as the zone, used to be the valley's epicenter for homelessness. The zone is now clear, but the problem isn't solved. On Friday, city leaders got news from the Supreme Court, which could change how they address this complex issue moving forward. So they're essentially saying, saying, hey, federal government, hey, judges, we're not going to step in and decide how communities could deal with this complex problem. The United States Supreme Court in a 6-3 decision overturning a Ninth Circuit court decision on the case of Grants Pass versus Johnson. What the Ninth Circuit said was that it's cruel and unusual punishment to arrest people for sleeping in a park or on a sidewalk or something unless the government provides them with some alternative place to sleep. Tim Sandifer is the Goldwater Institute's vice president for legal affairs and says this ruling offers a tool to cities to combat homelessness. But some, including dissenting justices, argue this will hurt an already vulnerable population. And as uh, Sotomayor said, uh, you know, it's put homeless people in a uh, an impossible position. You know, stay awake or risk jail. But the majority opinion, written by Justice Gorsuch, makes it clear they aren't forcing cities to enact public camping laws. I don't see how it's compassion to say, well, people should just be allowed to sleep on the streets or in public parks indefinitely. The ACLU's Jared Keenan disappointed in the court's ruling. This opinion is going to give the green light to uh, many cities to double down on criminalization, um, which we know is uh, not just uh, ineffective, but counterproductive. A camping ban in Phoenix is set to go into effect in September, and the city's Office of Homeless Solutions telling me in part, quote, the city will continue to lead with services and will not criminalize homelessness while we evaluate our programs based on the court's ruling today. But Keenan cites the recent DOJ report to express skepticism. Well over a third of all misdemeanor arrests and citations in the city of Phoenix in recent years have been against unsheltered folks. Um, this suggests that, 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 that this is all the city's focused on. Something almost all legal scholars can agree on. This won't be the last legal fight on the issue of homelessness. In Phoenix, Fort Hatchet, ABC 15, Arizona.